Good morning. My name is Keith Tony, and this is my partner of 10 years, my spouse of nearly five years, Al Tony. We are here this morning and part of this lawsuit because when we married in 2004, I took Al's last name as my own last name so that Al and myself and his daughter would all share the same name. The reason why that we're part of this lawsuit is because the United States government has denied my right to a passport and my new legally changed name. And because of this, we feel that we are being discriminated against and it's undue harm in these times after 9-11 when security is most important that this passport does not reflect my true identity or any other documents that I carry when I travel. As a former police officer and as an African-American male, uh, my job has been um, to make sure that we protect citizens and that we uphold all of the rights that they have. As a police officer, I did this. Uh, as a gay male, I do not have all the rights and protections as other citizens out there. As an educator, Keith and I own a consulting company together, we educate folks that there are no first class or second class citizens, that all people are treated, should be treated equally under the law. And with this lawsuit, we are trying to make this point. Also, in a post 9-11 world, as we travel, and with Keith not having the same legal name on his passport, we are uh, come across undue scrutiny, undue stress, and with all of the papers not matching up, uh, it could cause trouble for ourselves and for our family. And we want to make sure that we protect our family at all costs. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Al Kosky, and this is my spouse, Jim Fitzgerald. We've been together over 33 years, and we've been married since September of 07. I'm a federal retired employee, and Jim works at a drug and alcohol rehab center in Falmouth. I have health insurance, and when we married, I applied to have him put on my health insurance, and I was denied. The federal government said he was not my spouse. I've also applied to have him put on as a survivor on my pension, which would assure that if something happened to me, he could also get health insurance. DOMA hurts us because by having separate insurance policies, since we've been married, the cost has been over $4,000, and it runs at approximately $240 a month and continuing and climbing. We've been together all these years. We, we are a family, and the federal government has said, no, you are not a family. No, you don't deserve the rights that every other married couple has. We are second-class citizens. We are considered not equal. That is why we are here. Thank you very much. Shulman, and this is my wife Mary. We've been together for over 13 years and have two wonderful girls who are ages 7 and 10. We're here because in 2004 when we were legally married, I added Doreen to my family health insurance policy through my employer. But because the federal government didn't recognize our marriage, they treated it like I had added a total stranger to my family health insurance policy. This resulted in us paying over $100 a month extra in uh, taxes on the value of that health insurance policy. That's an extra hundred dollars that my other married co colleagues don't have to pay. And doing without health insurance isn't an option for me. I'm a two-time cancer survivor and my mother died of cancer at age 44. I'm also the primary caretaker for our children and don't have easy access to other affordable health insurance. Also because we can't file our taxes as a married couple with the federal government, we end up paying more in taxes uh, because we have to file as single individuals. In 2006 alone, the combined effect of all this extra taxation that we have to pay was more than $3,300. This is money we could be using for basic household expenses as well as saving for our girls' college educations. My name is Marlon Neighbors, and this is my husband, Jonathan Knight. We've been together for four years and married for two. We're here because DOMA affects us and that we're forced to pay more in taxes each year than other married couples. 
as uh, since we've been married, we've been forced to pay more than $2,500 additional in taxes, money that for a new married couple just starting out could look towards planning for our future or um, towards keeping up with monthly bills as new homeowners. We're here to help end this federal discrimination. And we just want to pay our fair share. Uh, at some point, our circumstances change and we owe more by filing jointly. That's okay, as long as we know that we're treated the same as every other married couple. Good morning. My name is Herbert Burtis. My partner and I, John Ferris, were together for 60 years. We met in 1948 when I was 18 and he was 22 and we were together until his death last August. John was the university organist and choir master at Harvard for 32 years. We were married in May of 2008. John was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease in 1992 and suffered a downhill struggle with the disease from then on. For the last three years of his life, the situation really became tragic. He became an invalid, needed round-the-clock care, and I basically turned our home into a one-bed nursing home. With the aid of part-time help, I was able to keep him at home most of the time. In the last month of his life, he suffered a stroke and became unable to speak or to swallow. And while his death really came as a blessed release, I realized that I was exhausted both physically and emotionally. <clears throat> After more than a half century together, I was alone. There was a hole in my life that would never be filled. It was at this time that I discovered that after having paid Social Security taxes all of our lives, I would not receive either his death benefit or his Social Security uh, benefit, which was considerably higher than mine. The approximately $700 per month difference would pay for my GAP health insurance beyond Medicare. My meds alone run to about $700 per month. So in addition to losing my lifelong companion, I find that our government considers our marriage second class and invalid. And that's why I'm participating in this project. 